very welcome to this Senior Render Surface Material Series. My name is Carsten MD from ASM TechBase. Please subscribe to my channel and make sure you ring the bell option here like all so you get all the latest video notifications, all my tutorial, so you won't miss out on anything. And one more thing, on my website, join the ASM TechBase email list for newsletters and future updates. Welcome to part two of the Senior Render Surface Materials setting. So the second part of this series, I'll show you now the diffuse channel. So let's open our surface settings and we covered color, part one, and now I go down to diffusion. So what happens is if I tick diffusions here, this will lie on top of the color channel. For my exercise here, I changed the white wall to a brick color, pretty much one sort of color brick, because it's easier to see what's happening now if we add some diffuse channel items. I start off with very simple um, a texture. So I go add an image here and I loaded an image, which I called like a dirt map as example. So it's very simple, sort of looks white, grayish, blackish, and we add this one and it comes in on top of the color channel. You can see already what happens here, the effect I'm getting from this texture map. The reason we do this really is, again, to make the material look more realistic. Because in real life, even a clean brick, it still has slightly nuances like small dirt on it or just different shades that will make it more realistic. So let's start with the normal one which is normal, called normal, there you go. That's the mix mix mode and dirt map here and you see at the moment only got two so you can hardly see anything. So let's put this up to 50 and then we do our first render and see what happens. So. Okay, let's render this up. Okay, you can clearly see obviously my dirt map on top of the bricks. Now this obviously doesn't look realistic. This is purely to explain what it does. Now to adjust this, stop this now, we just go back into the diffuse channel and you can obviously then reduce it. The way I work usually, I always go by halves or by doubles. So half of 50 is 25 and you just click OK and you render it up again. So this way you get fairly, you know, you just do a couple of renders till you get to the result you're after. Unless you, you know, you're welcome to slide, you know, use the slider a little bit and just move it left and right, but, but it's easier if you work by numbers. Okay, you can see the difference already. Let's stop this here. So that's 20, the mix is 25, and this is 50. Now maybe to do, I haven't done this, should have done this to start. Let's just take this out for now, and I render one up without anything, so you can really see the difference. So quite clean brick texture I started with. Okay. 
Okay, that's the start of it. So if I go, let's just go up this way. So this one obviously is 25% and this one is 50%. So if I put the 25% on, you can actually see the difference, right? So this is quite clean around here. The next picture, it starts to get more dirty and obviously that's too dirty. But you understand what I wanted to tell you with how the diffuse channel works. Now there's other couple of options in the diffuse channel which are quite handy. Let's get rid of the image and I actually lose quite a lot of the noise channel. Well, it's not the noise channel, it's just a noise option. Let's call it an option. So if you go there again, the mix trend is normal, uh, 25. But if you go to the noise, you can change the noise a little bit, which is sort of almost better than using a dirt map. It, again, it's just, it depends on the look you're after. So let's go to the noise here and I can change the noise. Actually, let's just render this one up. Okay, as you, as you can see, there's a slight noise in it now. Let's go and look at the picture. This is empty. Okay, this is the the map we use, the dirt map. And if you compare the dirt map now to the noise, see the noise looks a bit different. There's more like blotches where this one has more sort of, yeah, almost little pixels in it. Let's go back and show you a bit more what you can do. So let's put up to 50 and then it obviously gets much stronger. See, there you go. And what else you can do is you can actually change the noise. You go in here to the noise and there's lots of noise options. Some of them have funny names, but at the end of the day, just go through them. Um, as example, if I put fire in there, you can see it looks totally different. It gets really dark and black. Um, where the noise is very black. What I find quite a nice one is the turbulence. I quite like that one. And let's render this off to, to see how it looks. Oops, wrong button. There you go. What is good with the noise, obviously it's quite random. So that makes it look quite realistic. So if, if I personally have a look now, we can stop this. And which one was the clean one? Number three. So number three has nothing on it. So if you look at number five, it might be a little bit too much, obviously, but personally, especially when you go further back, this will look a lot more realistic than have nothing at all and total clean brick. If you don't want a clean brick, don't understand me wrong. There's a lot of clean bricks out there. So another bit you can do is, let's go back, you can change the seed. What happens if you change the seed? The noise pattern changes. Um, then I like to show you obviously the mix because at the moment we have normal strength, but you can also change this to just adding, multiply, and subtract. Again, at the end of the day, it's quite easy to use. You just try them out. Let's just go to subtract as example. Sometimes it doesn't show up in AlkiCAD, and I'm not sure why. I'm trying again, it sort of redraws, but it doesn't really want to do it. Very interesting. Turn diffuse off and turn it back on. Yeah, see, it does want to show it, so that's a bit annoying because now I have to render it out to see what happens. So let's do this quickly. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't need to do much more here. Let's just stop this. As you can see, this is obviously quite useless, but the problem we had here is it is 50%. So because this is so strong, let's put this on two and then we ran this out again. Oh, funny enough, that's maybe why it showed all black because 50 was a bit much. There you go. On two. So the difference, if I render this up now, is to before, which had a mix, a normal mix to subtraction, it just seems much, much stronger. So that's why you saw from the sliders from 50. I mean, at the moment I use two and it shows up quite black. Well, not black, but quite dark in compare to the other one here. See, that's just slightly and they're quite dark. Now, with this one here, we probably if we go to normal mixer strength and put it up to 100, you will not get all that black. And yes, for brick, this is useless. You won't use it. But don't forget if you have like um, maybe you're on a road and you want to put, you know, the road texture. There is a lot more um, how is it, patches in it, which maybe look much darker. So you can easily use that or even lighter. You can reverse that and make it lighter. Now, if you have a keyed eye, some of you maybe noticed that we got a problem here. You see, that doesn't look good because it almost looks like as if it's like sort of a square and it repeats itself. It shows up really well here. Now, there's an option to get rid of that because at default, when we add the noise, it's defaulted on in space on texture. So that's probably, like I said, a square. It represents a square texture which will be then copied along the Y and Z and X axis. So what you can do is we change this and we change this to the UV 2D map. And then we just click OK and let's render this out again. Right, you can see already it's all gone. It's really random now. It doesn't matter how large this brick surface this wall will be, it will not be looking up as repetitive and cut. So that's quite important. So you have to be careful with this. I'd like to show you one more really great example how to use the diffuse channel. I changed this more to a rustic style, older style brick, the wall, as you can see. So let's open this. Uh, material and we add a diffuse channel and what I do is this time I like to add an image and this image is a is a is example is um, is a wall crack so let's open this okay at the moment just leave it at uh, mixed strength is 100 yeah that's fine let's just leave it and we give that a quick go As you can see, that looks actually quite cool. It's a bit big to crack, I have to say, you know, around here, but still, obviously you understand what I want to show you. All it is that image is, the image is black where the crack is, and it is totally white otherwise. And that's why the image renders 
where the bricks here, why the, where it is why totally normal. And the crack obviously shows up very nicely. Okay, the next part of this Cine Render Surface Material series will be Luminance Chapter.